Okay, since y'all talked me into doing 15-7 today, too. All right, everything in this section, every one of these regions were very angular. Triangles, squares, rectangles, whatever. But what if your region is more circular in nature, nature which it can be in three dimensions also? All right, this is where we're going to look at something called cylindrical coordinates. All right, we're going to take a point X, Y, Z. Oops, I guess you couldn't see that, could you? We're going to take a point X, Y, Z, and we're going to change it to cylindrical coordinates, which are R, theta, and Z. Okay, the definitions for R's and thetas are going to be just like they were in polar coordinates. In polar coordinates, X was R cosine theta. Same here. Y is R sine theta. Z is Z in this case. So this number is still that number. Okay? You're still going to use the fact that x squared plus y squared is r squared. And you're still going to use the fact that the tangent of theta is y over x. Okay? So these definitions are the same. The only difference between polar and cylindrical is that you have the third dimension of the z. So if that makes sense, you're going, you're rotating your angle theta. You're coming out R and then you're going up Z to get that third dimension in there. All right, so if you have to change from rectangular, negative 1, 1, to cylindrical, this is X, this is Y, this is Z which means you're trying to go to an R, a theta, and a Z. You're going to have to find R. This is your X and this is your Y. So R squared is going to be 1 squared plus 1 squared. R is going to be what, square root of 2. I like to keep R positive. To get theta, tangent of theta is Y over X is negative 1. So tangent theta is negative 1. If you use the second tan, this is the angle whose tangent is negative 1. If you use that function on your calculator, I think you're going to get negative pi over 4. But that is a problem. Does anybody know why that might be a problem? Well, the angle doesn't have to, the angle doesn't have to be positive, but this angle has got to be in whatever quadrant that's in. The point negative one one is over here in quadrant two, and negative pi over four is down here, it is in the wrong quadrant. So this rotation is not going to give you this point. Add pi to it exactly. So add pi to it to get it back in the correct quadrant. Always, always, always check the quadrant of this point. So you make sure you get your angle in the right place. So you add pi to your problem and your angle is 3 pi over 4. So the cylindrical coordinates are r square root of 2, theta, 3 pi over 4, and z is 1. Make sure your angle is in the right quadrant. That is my caution to you on these, okay? Um, if we're going backwards, I guess, if they give you the point 2, negative pi over 2, 1, and they want you to go back to an x, a y, and a z. 
again, check everything. You know the Z is 1, or at least you should know that. Z is 1. This is R. This is theta. All right, how do we get our X's and our Y's? Go back to your formulas. X is 2 times the cosine of negative pi over 2, and Y is going to be 2 times the sine of negative pi over 2. You can put those in your calculator, whatever, as long as you're in radian mode. I think that one is 0. And this one should be negative 2, so the point should be 0, negative 2, 1. Okay, do I need to do any more of these where you're going from Cartesian to cylindrical or cylindrical to Cartesian? It's just like we did before, it's just you've got the Z before, you've just got the Z on it. All right, you also are going to have to change equations from rectangular, like this. All right, this is x squared minus x plus y squared plus z squared is 1. They want us to change this to cylindrical which means the only thing that can stay like it is is the z. The x's and the y's have got to be changed to r's and thetas. Now the first thing I see is x squared plus y squared because x squared plus y squared, if I group those together, right, that is r squared. x is r cosine theta z squared stays the same. And I think web assigned solves them for z squared. So z squared would be 1 minus r squared plus r cosine theta. No, don't square root it. If that's what we're going to be with your ass. That's, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Because then you'd only get half of the problem because you probably forget to do plus and minus. I mean, I'm, I mean, you might. You might not. So just leave it alone. But it will take the z squared. It would take, that's what the answers had, z squared, yes. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. I think that's what it Yes. In fact, I think it just had a blank, but when they wrote their answers, this whole thing was written in the blank as opposed to like, I, I just had that. Okay. So they may just take, they may take this one, I'm not, I probably will, probably take any of those, okay? All right, and if you just have something like 2x minus y plus z is equal to 1, you have any problem getting that to um, cylindrical? The x is r cosine theta minus y, which is r sine theta plus z is 1, and that's it. Okay. Now, let me see what I need to, I need to look, actually look at some problems, don't I? How about evaluate, this is number 17, the triple integral over the region E, the square root of x squared plus y squared dv. E is the region that lies inside the cylinder. x squared plus y squared is equal to 16. And between the planes, z is equal to negative 5. And z is equal to 4. And it's inside this thing. Okay, the clue that you might have to change this to cylindrical coordinates 
is the fact that when you look at this in your xy plane, this is a circle. So in your xy plane, this is a circle of radius 4. So that's the clue right there, that you need cylindrical coordinates. So R is going from 0 to 4. Theta, they didn't restrict me to a quadrant or anything, so theta is going from 0 to 2 pi. My Z's, well they tell me Z went from negative 5 to 4. And when you set up your integral, what did you have to add when you had, were in polar coordinates? Right, you do the same with this. Okay, so you can set, these are all constants, so it doesn't matter how you set this up. Let's say four, oh, I don't know why I put four there. Suppose you're going from negative five to four, and then you're going from zero to two pi, and then you're going from zero to four. You've got to take the square root of x squared plus y squared, Right, that's going to be, I'll just write it out, square root of r squared times the extra r. 0 to 4 is dr, 0 to 2 pi is d theta, negative 5 to 4 is dz. So that is how you set up the cylindrical coordinates for that. It's the same thing. You look at your xy plane, look at your region. If it's circular, change it. Um, the only difference there between what we did the other is you're adding the z. Correct. And that's it. That's, that's it. it. That is it. Uh, do I need to set up another one? Well, what about this one? Now, just humor me. What about number 19? Evaluate this triple integral. <coughs> over x plus y plus z. Where E is the solid in the first octant. Bounded, no, that lies under The paraboloid z is 4 minus x squared minus y squared. And it's in the first octant. Okay. I need to project to the xy plane because I've got to get to x's and y's or r's and theta's or something. So when you go to the xy plane, what happens? to z. z is 0. And if z is 0 in this equation right here, that is going to give you x squared plus y squared is 4, which is a circle. So it is a circle with a radius of 2. Oops. Kind of a lopsided circle. Alright, so my r's. 0 to 2. What about my thetas? First octant says so 0 to pi over 2. Okay. Now, my z's. It's in the first octant. It is under this thing right here. So my z's are going from what? Zero to... Right. But, there's a but on that. Can't have x squared minus y squared. Everything else is in polars. Right. So I have to do less than or equal to 4 minus r squared. You've got to change that to polar also, or excuse me, cylindrical. Alrighty, 
So, I guess I'll do 0 to 2, and then 0 to pi over 2. This z had to be on the inside because it's going from 0 to 4 minus r squared. Now, what do I do with this x plus y plus z? I cannot leave it like that. r cosine theta plus r sine theta plus z. Is that all I need? All of that times another r. Then this is dz, this is d theta, and this is dr. And you said that dz had to be at the inside? Because of that. Because that was 4 minus, because it had a variable. So it needed to be on the inside. Okay, and it definitely can't be here on the outside. Okay, and then whatever that gives you, just don't forget that extra R is the key to polar and cylindrical. Okay, so now we've done everything in Chapter 15, and, and I can answer questions on Thursday, and you'll have your test Tuesday. Does that work? Good, because... Even if it didn't work.